What's up everybody, Joe Brown here. This is Heresy Financial and the gold bull market is finally here. We saw a almost two years of a gold bear market. It was moving down and sideways every time it popped up a little bit. It got hammered down, but I'm going to share with you today why we have turned the corner. We are starting to see the beginning stages of the new bull market in gold. Ready? Let's dive in. If you've been around the channel for any amount of time, you know that for a long time, I was saying that gold would bottom the day the Fed announced that the taper would start. I was saying that for a long time simply because of the way that gold reacts to monetary policy and inflation and deflation. It is highly anticipatory. Take a look at this chart of gold and look at what gold did in anticipation of the effects of the monetary policy as a result of what happened in early 2020. You can see that gold front ran the monetary policy. Gold front ran the inflation that would be happening, went up massively. In fact, from the bottom in March, when gold bottomed to the top just a few months later in August of 2020, gold was up over 40% in anticipation of the results of the unprecedented expansion of the monetary supply. Guess what? That was an overshoot. That was too much. Gold went up too much. And just in case you think that I'm cherry picking and picking from the bottom, that's about the same price that gold was uh, towards the end of 2019, which gold was still on a rally there because of what the Federal Reserve had started doing with QE infinity or not QE. But ultimately, around that price, gold overshot what the Federal Reserve ended up doing in expanding the money supply. It was not 40%. And so what did gold have to do? Gold had to correct. And so that's what gold has been doing since. And to date, as of the date of this recording, gold is up over 20% since then. Now, what did monetary policy do over that time? The total amount of money, the broad money supply increased about 25%. So is gold undershooting a little bit by now? Yes. By a lot? Absolutely not. And here's the thing. Gold started coming down at the same time as fears about Fed tightening started to step in. Gold is highly anticipatory. Gold started selling off and moving sideways as fears of deflation started to enter the market, as fears of Fed tightening, Fed pulling back on the QE, Fed tapering its balance sheet, Fed raising interest rates. All those fears started to get priced into gold as gold moved sideways and downwards for months on end. And over that time, that's when I was saying the bottom in gold would happen when the Fed finally announces that the taper is going to start. Now, was I right about this? Well, on November 3rd, the Federal Reserve finally announced the beginning of the balance sheet taper. They were going to start off by reducing their asset purchases until they eventually get to zero. And then they were going to start raising interest rates. That was November 3rd. At that time, gold bottomed, but it turned out not to be the bottom because just a few weeks later, on December 15th, the Federal Reserve announced that they were going to be accelerating the pace of their taper. And in the middle of the day, intraday, trading, gold briefly dipped below that previous bottom. It closed higher, but it still briefly dipped below. And ever since then, it's been on its way up. So you might be thinking, why does gold start to go down during the time when inflation starts to pick up and now is uh, starting to rise now that the Federal Reserve is tapering and their monetary policy is getting tighter and uh, less easy? Well, again, Gold is highly anticipatory. So now what the gold market is starting to price in is this tightening is going to fail. They're not going to be able to start selling assets off their balance sheet once they hit zero. They're not going to be able to significantly raise interest rates. The market is going to sniff out some problems. There's going to be a crash. The Federal Reserve will have to reverse course and start adding to their balance sheet again, lowering interest rates, doing all sorts of crazy monetary policy sort of actions. And this is going to drive gold up even higher again in anticipation of the inflation that will happen after that. So gold is highly anticipatory. And on this next bull run, it's very possible given the long-term cycle technically of gold that we start to see a very big bubble take place in gold that we saw in uh, about 2008 through 2011 that we also saw in the 70s. You see these massive bubbles take place and the price of gold goes up tremendously. When in doubt, zoom out and you can see this is basically one big bull flag. It looks like clear skies ahead for gold. I'm not saying that we don't have big flush outs. I'm not saying there won't be down days and I could be very wrong.
wrong about this. We could still be in a bear market. We could see much lower lows before things turn around. But by all accounts, looking at how gold responds to monetary policy and especially in anticipation of what the Federal Reserve is going to do and the uh, results of that on prices, it looks like we've turned the corner and it is blue skies ahead for gold. Don't take my word for it. It's not advice. If you'd like my recommended resources on where and how to buy gold, check out my affiliate links in the description below. As always, really appreciate you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.